Hello and welcome to this new video of Tactical Index. Today I'm going to show you how to install the iCopper Carbine Kit and how the, the two versions of the cooking handle works and how to install them. So let's go. For this video I've already pre-installed some of the parts. The two parts of the front of the set are already installed and glued together and I've already installed the buffer tube on the back of the part so for this one it will be like a standard AG uh, buffer tube don't forget to put an M5 here to screw the, the screw here and I've already prepared my iCapa I've already removed the safety it's quite easy to do uh, you'll find easily videos on YouTube and when you when you remove the safety just insert the M4 screw that will be needed for the next part so the beaver tail don't fall the only downside of it is that you lose the safety but <laughs> safeties are awful pussies so <laughs> you don't really need those so from now I'm gonna show you first this version of the cooking handle it will be for the use of the front slot and as you can see how it's shaped it will work like this when inside of the kit it goes on top of it that's how it works so this version will work on every iCapa 5.1 without a compensator if there is a compensator it won't work so keep in mind that you will have to have a one part slide no compensator and standard barrel the two inserts are already here you just insert it in the slot here just check that it moves freely and then you take your cooking handle I've already put the screws inside you just screw it in place once it's inside and then you take your uh, your spring this one comes from Sima Shotel to disassemble it just push this pin out and it will split there and you can easily take the spring outside insert the spring if it's a bit too short don't hesitate to stretch it a bit and as you can see here see it moves freely so it's okay but I personally won't use this version I will use the other version with the cooking handle on the back of the slot so from there just first we we'll need to install the back of the kit take it we we'll need to aim I don't know why I'm having trouble. Technically, it should go easily, but now that I'm doing the video, it, it won't. Yeah. There. You can see it pivots right there. there. And you put your. Uh, yeah, today nothing goes right. I don't know why I'm having trouble. Okay. And you take your cooking handle and you only use one M3 screw for reinforcement and the pin there too. As the front one. And 
there goes the the annoying part you need to insert the spring from the back and then your ikapa goes on the front the rail need to go inside you need to aim a bit If it's too hard, you can just cut the spring down, it will be much easier. I was there, but now I'm not. Ah, what a pain in the ass. Yep, and then you take your screws. Just check that it works. You can see now we can check with a bit of gas. Everything's good. Just put the screw on the other side. Screw here to tighten it. And then you're done. Thanks for watching.